Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be playing some Kindred. Oh, Kindred? Echo, pardon me. In the jungle. Hopefully, you guys will learn some new tactics to use in your games and you'll be able to implement some of the things that I do in this game to punish the enemies. Get some more wins. I'm going to be starting blue buff and then going blue gromp and then potentially wolves. We'll just start assess the situation when we get to wolves. Obviously, if we see ganks available in mid, we might skip. And if we also saw a gank available top that we need to just maybe three camp into, we might skip wolves again. This game, it's looking unlikely that this will be the case, so we'll probably just look for some kind of full clear. Looks like mid's doing pretty good here, but top lane is looking a little bit rough. Looks like actually another solo kill on the top lane, which you would got. Part of me, you guys will notice there's actually been two solo kills already in the top lane. So top looks like it's going to be a little bit of a problem, a bit of an issue lane here, this game. We see Wukong's heading back top lane. Assessing the wave, looks like it's going to be pushing to our Wukong, provided he does not uh, do anything that negatively impacts that wave. So we might have the possibility to look for a little four gank, although we do have to be careful because of how big the lead is here. There's also a wave advantage and also a level advantage on the jacks, but there is a health advantage on our side with the Wukong having more health. Now we did also see the jacks ward, but the wave is pushing up and we're going to look for this because Jax has used his mobility for it and also his E. Nice, getting that shut down. And I want to help my laner push this wave here as quickly as possible. I'm not so much trying to get the creeps from him. Jax has no TP, so we do want to get this crashed. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, a bit of an issue there from my player. Well, this guy is a little bit of a loser, unfortunately. It's going to be a hard game. Anyway, guys, whenever you're dealing with some player that is extremely toxic or a really big noob, you want to spend as little time uh, listening to what they have to say as possible because it's just going to like kind of corrupt your view of the game. And it's also probably detrimental to most people's mental health. So as soon as Wukong starts uh, spewing delusion there after intentionally feeding, we're just instantly putting him on mute. Uh, his pings also because... I know based on his actions and what he said so far that his pings are more than likely going to be low quality nonsense. So I'm not even going to give him the benefit of the doubt in that area. We see the Diana down here. So I'm going to look for this trade a little bit. Excellent. Picking up the kill there. Nice. That should be two kills. Should actually be three kills here, I think. Okay. Oh, it is three kills. Perfect. Well played my teammates and my Nami there. Excellent stuff. Now the wave here is also going to start slow pushing back to them, but it's not the best wave in the world. See, my Jax is still getting punished pretty heavily. Oh, sorry, my Wukong. I will be going top and looking to try to, uh, you know, still alleviate any issues up there. But from this point onwards, uh, anytime they do go top, I won't be, um, you know, playing to get Jax resources. I'll be playing to get my, sorry, Wukong resources. I'll be playing to get myself resources. So you'll notice like last time when we were top, I was saying, you know, we want to push the wave and we're not actually trying to get the creeps here. We're going to try and help our Wukong. Um, you know, if we go back top, we'll be looking to make sure we get the kill and all resources possible. We do see that Jax is low, so there is looking to be some golden XP up there for us. We're going to skip the Krugs and we are going to move towards top lane and look for this kill. Jax is also level 6, which means he's likely to be looking for some kind of all-in trade soon. Okay, and we can see that there it is.
Just want to play this slowly here. Oh no. Quickly just gonna smite that for level six there, just in case this fight does become a bit of a painful experience. Honestly, I should just be pushing this wave. Well, like Wukong finished pushing it out. I actually made a misplay there on the jacks, unfortunately. So that actually sucks a lot. I do want to try and get that kill and get that gold. There's like two parts of the misplay there. Um, part one is like missing my Q um, beforehand, and then part two is just how I comboed him. So yeah. These misplays are going to happen though from time to time, and you just want to try your best. You can see my Wukong's fighting here, so I'm actually going to try and rotate up and might be able to potentially pick up a Diana kill here or something like that. You can see the Diana. You can see that she is moving into the jungle there. Uh, maybe she's actually... Oh no, she is. She's moving into the jungle. Oh, I'm not sure where she's at. I decided to recall. But anyway, I'll use this time to go and take her blue as soon as it spawns. Then I'll probably look for a reset, but I just want to check my gold. Alright. Now I have a few options here. If I can get a mid gank off, that would be nice, since this virus is pushing in the wave. I might look for that now. Yep, I'm going to look for it. Nice. Virus is dead there. So we'll help shove this wave out. I'm not sure that Zed is uh, CSing that in the most efficient manner possible, but okay. He's still at least trying. Um, also, Diana's probably on the bot side here, so we're just going to ping that quickly whilst we move into this potential bot lane gank. I'm going to zone the enemies there with my uh, W, and I'll look for the ult. And pick up the triple kill. Excellent stuff. Really, really good play for us. Now, I want to do this dragon here. Actually, I'm not a huge advocate for early dragons, but because my top side is losing so heavily, and because he basically sucks and is trolling, I want to make sure that I can get as much resources as I can down bot lane at any point. And I'll actually forego a little bit of gold and XP snowballing to do this dragon for my team. Especially whilst I have the bot lane prior to help me. Alright, nice. Instantly take the base here. Virus might be roaming. We'll just keep an eye on that. Played that fight pretty well too. Um, you know, you guys may or may not notice, but... The way we used our abilities, we were playing in a in a manner where we were taking into consideration what tools the enemy team had so that we could then best play around it. You'll notice that we split the Diana up from our teammates with the W, and then the W was there to stop the Maokai um, coming in and also was utilized for a stun and a shield for me, which made me take less damage overall. You can see that Zed helped out the Wukong there. Excellent stuff. So Zed's starting to get a little bit of a snowball going on himself. And that should be the Maokai that just hit that boss plant. Diana is most likely on top side. Oh, Zed is actually going in here. And I'm not in range to um, pick this up, unfortunately. We do see the Diana top side. Excellent stuff. Got the E flash on him. Nice. Picked up the kill there on the Diana too. And we're going to look for our Raptors now. 
accidentally E there onto the small raptor. Um, obviously, don't do that, guys. It's a misclick. And here, time's about 12 minutes. Now, I'm probably going to look for these topside camps and maybe even look for a gank top. I'm especially happy to go top here since there's a uh, lane XP that I can get. So even if the gank fails, I'm happy to get the lane XP. Okay. So, I'm just going to walk into this bush here and then base. If Jax walks up, I'll re-gank, but presumably Jax won't walk back up and die here. So we'll take the lane XP and then we'll base. And sell my pink ward there since it's not really as useful as a blasting wand. What I could have done is maybe pink ward the herald before I based. Um, that would have been like a, a really thoughtful move there, which would give me a bit of information if they go for that herald play. Let's see if I can, um, you know, Meet this Zeri here and just make sure that there's no virus roam or anything like that. Bit of a misclick there. I'm gonna go back here, I chucked out the W. That's an ult there to dodge the Diana ulti. Alright, nice. Looks like a pretty good play. We'll just move over here now, pick up the camps that are available, and continue getting golden XP. One thing to note this game is we didn't get a Herald before 14 minutes. That's um, you know, maybe an area that we could have improved on, since that Herald you know, power spike of gold is quite nice. 300 gold off the Herald, and then depending on how you utilize the Herald, um, you can also get a bunch from plating, and that can also open up the map a lot which gives an added benefit there of having more control over the game. Now we do see the enemy TPing in mid and we see the Maokai running back bot. This is a little bit, um, a bit risky, but I'm pretty confident in this play because of how strong I am. So you can see there that actually Diana managed to get that somehow. I think she might have chucked the Q over the wall or something blind. Or she got it from her um like jungle pet i'm not sure but that's kind of sad i don't know if this is water but presumably it's not actually watered just by the way these guys are playing i'm gonna be looking for a play here hopefully with the nami ult excellent and we can see the virus over here too so i'm just watching that if he looks for any kind of ult engage Excellent, got killed there, just made sure to keep outside of the tower reins. Only just quickly push that and then hopefully we can get this dragon also. You can see the Wukong is still, you know, basically dead weight. <laughs> Pardon me. I fucking, uh, it's off. Yeah. This kind of uh, feeds into our previous theory of like, we don't want to invest too much time into this guy because he's not playing well. He's just like getting outclassed. So because we've invested a low amount of time into him and invested in our other laners, that's paid off pretty big for us. Now, I don't mind using my um, proto belts when I'm clearing the jungle. Oh, I'm getting like a minion block there. Yeah, so if I know that I don't need to... Whoa, 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 brother. No, sorry. There's just no way this guy is clearing my raptors and my blue in the same rotation. When he's uh, not playing very well. I mean, he's like playing fine, not playing bad, but he's not carrying. I know blue is really good on Zed. I also play Zed. I like blues, but uh, yeah, it needs to perform a little bit better than that to justify taking it off me when I am carrying this game. Especially if you're already taxing other camps for golden XP for uh, seemingly no reason. So quickly, we'll clear that. 
Still not sure why Zed is doing things like roaming, right? Instead of having his wave pushed out. When you guys are looking to do roams and stuff, you want to make sure that your wave is pushed out. You're not actually losing golden XP for that roam. It's like we're looking at three man this Jax. Okay, that's fine. I was looking to actually KS that kill, but I'm also happy for Zed to get that kill. That's uh, equally fine with me. We can actually see Diana's bot right now, which means her Gromp is up because we saw it respawn just moments ago. So whilst she's over there kind of wasting a little bit of time, I'm going to move over here, take her Gromp and maybe also her Wolves if they're up. And we just want to look for any small leads we can get where we can grow our golden XP. Even if it's only just, you know, one camp, one creep. Anything that allows us to continue this snowball and get the win here is going to be really advantageous. I don't know where the enemies are down there. Got the Maokai kill and the Maokai ult. And I'm gonna jump over the wall here. Boom. Raptors here into my... What are these called? Krugs. And then we'll probably be looking for a reset. Somewhere. Maybe reset into mid. Or maybe actually we'll just head straight mid since they've opted to drop Herald mid. We can kind of counter this play. Herald's going to crash, but what we can punish them with afterwards is yet to be seen. What the hell? This is pain. Ah, oh, man, they have everyone here. and also take the Krugs, and then I'm going to come back to this red buff. Actually dropping the W here. This could turn into a huge W play. Oh, I'm dead. Turns out my Wukong is absolutely useless. You would have expected that. Anyway, it's like Zed's actually cleaning up here pretty... It's close. Yeah, this play sucks. Look, I'm honestly going to need a Void Staff this game. Diana building a ton of magic resist. Maokai building a ton of magic resist. Jax is not going to have as much magic resist, but I'm pretty sure his ult is still giving a decent amount, if I remember correctly. I know it's been changed recently, though, so I'm not 100% sure on how much magic resist Jax actually gets on his ult when he has an AD build. Presumably, though, it's still a decent amount, actually. Now for us, our win condition probably right now is going to be um, Dragon Soul. So we've got the next Dragon spawning here. And then, um, you know, six minutes or so after that, we should have uh, an ability to get Soul. I think it's most likely that we'll get this drag. Unsure exactly why my teammates are going towards the uh, Baron. Definitely, in my opinion, this is a Soul angle. I'm going to drop a W here, and this is actually going to turn into a pretty good play for me. Boom, Maokai is harvested there, and I actually want to go on this Varus. He's probably going to ult here in a second. Hey, no ulti. Alright, Jin has left. We're going to peace back out, and we'll go harvest this dragon here, here part of me, in a second. This guy plays Wukong like Nice does.
We're going to harvest our camps here, pathing towards top lane. Now for our next item, I'm actually kind of thinking that I would like Zonya's or I would like to get potentially... Um, Rabidons could also be nice. Either of those. Zed's in their base, so I think, like, sorry, in their jungle deep, so I think we should look for this, um, dragon play here. Because he's kind of taking them on a bit of a chase over there. We got a foul Wukong would come. Oops, bromping. Oops. Does not look like he is going to participate, though, in uh, what we're trying to do. It's fine. This play is still good even without him. It's just better with him because I then don't have to take the damage reduction. Because if he's there to tank it, then I can get max damage. And that's going to be a pretty big deal. Looks like he's going for this play over here. Okay. Not exactly sure what the Alvarez plays. I'm just going to bait this Malkai's W. Nice. Now Malkai has no CC. We'll quickly just take him out of the game. I think my Nami should tank there for me. I kind of think she's uh maybe maybe not uh, prioritizing. I mean, even if actually she doesn't have to die there, she can actually just stay and uh, tank one more shot and I live. We both live. But yeah. Unfortunate. Obviously, she didn't see that play angle. So it just is what it is. In the meantime, though, we did manage to get a bunch of um, towers and things done in other places on the map. Look, it's kind of a one-man show, maybe a two-man show. Might uh, consider the Nami also. Uh, someone who's pretty helpful this game. Yeah, other than that, it's it's kind of a bit of a hard one. We don't have too many teammates doing too much impactful stuff. And that's probably a really good thing to showcase for the video, right? Because you guys are probably playing your games in similar ranks to this, and you're going, look, my teammates don't really do bugger all, really. So this is kind of how you need to be playing if you want to, you know, start. Um... I really like to use like carrying your teammates because like you probably shouldn't be looking to like carry or like 1v9 especially if you're a low rank to begin with but you know it's definitely start getting closer to that point you want to kind of if you're a lower rank now you kind of want to aim to improve yourself to the point where you can carry sometimes if you get like the right kind of situation and then slowly as you get better and better at the game you will start finding that there are more and more times where you're actually able to carry got the diana here it's gonna look to burst her there's that kill. Excellent stuff. Don't hit that ward. So yeah, when she hits the ward, it actually shows us. Not exactly super helpful. Oh, I need to get the fuck out of here. That's the Maokai dead there. Jax looks like he's also potentially dying. Yeah, so I always find Varus is actually a pretty hard champion for Echo to deal with. Always Varus and Ash because they kind of, in my opinion, they counter how you want to play the game. You go into them and you want to like go in and ult out or they're just going to chuck a point blank ult at your face. It's pretty hard to react to. Basically impossible to dodge. Um, so yeah. That's clutch play. My ult is literally coming back up that second. I really had to clutch it. Anyway, we'll dip down here, take the drag, and from there, we've pretty much got the game in the bag, guys. Um, 
And it really goes to show that like, you know, games where you do have teammates that are trolling and teammates that are bad, it's still very winnable. It just depends on how well you can play, how you can minimize mistakes and how you can push slash punish the enemy team for like leads. Excellent harvest that Jax. And we might actually even look for another play inside their base here. Especially with this uh, inhibitor over here. Now, Virus probably has ult right now. I want to try and bait out his ult. Nice, there we go. Okay, it's a Malkai coming flat strap at us. Oh, no shot. I was so close to popping off there. I just needed to get that E onto the Jin slightly sooner before I um, got executed with the Collector and four shot, and they're all dead because I had ult still. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Anyway, I don't think my teammates will be able to end without me, so preferably, hopefully, they just uh, kind of chill and keep doing what they've been doing, which is uh, not a lot. Wait for me to respawn. We'll go end the game. We shall see, though, what they have planned for me. Just want to uh, issue some pings, try to command the monkeys, keep them from making large mistakes. Oh, it looks like I didn't keep my eyes on this monkey, though. Eh, that's not too bad. Looks like those creeps have helped him out a fair bit, actually, in that skirmish. Yeah, part of League of Legends is uh, like kind of managing your apes. You kind of need to look at the game, especially as a jungler. You can kind of look from like bird's eye view and, you know, think of it kind of like, you know, you can be in a kind of a managing position. You can see your teammates making uh, bad plays, mistakes, and sometimes you can actually mitigate that with just like commanding them to potentially uh, make better decisions or at least maybe avoid bad decisions. <laughs> So like here, I probably could have done a better job of uh, managing this Clown Fiesta. Because we don't really need to, they don't need to skirmish all. They can just simply let the creeps hit tower. Um, and, you know, they probably shouldn't be looking for anything too serious. That's fine. Can't believe we've not hit the tower yet. We can, we can do that play so easy. But, um... Like, our teammates do not know what to do. Zeri recalled the Zed did not press his buttons very efficiently, I don't think. Meanwhile, we did a metric shit ton of damage. I should have, uh, I should have hit the tower there with one of my autos. So as you guys can see, like, you know, a fair majority of my damage is actually taken from the tower. Anyway, this game is still in free territory. We just need to end the game. And I just want to make sure that I do manage my apes here as they will probably try to end without me. I don't want that to happen. All right, I'm going to start pinging that I want my teammates to come with me. And let's go and end this game. Zed is recalling. Hopefully Zed can either recall ASAP or just come and end the game with us. Don't have flash. Now, things that can help this fight is if I can bait out the virus. Oh, nice. No, someone else baited it out. That's even better. What is Zed doing? Come play the game, brother. Don't need to be running away. And obviously, Wukong has to troll too. Ah! We got caught. Malkai. Q. I don't know. This is such a painful game. We can end this game instantly, but my teammates just do not want to play the game. I don't know how long I'm going to have to deal with this, man. Well, hopefully these guys just stop griefing and actually come and play the game. Like, the only reason Wukong is farming the jungle is because he's uh, griefing. Zed is just bad. That's fine. But, but, you know, we've already established long ago that the, uh, the Wukong is griefing, unfortunately. I think here, maybe we can pick up a stopwatch. 
That was a really good play by the Maokai. And a nice flash too. Anyway. We might be able to look for um, Elder Soul, but honestly, we can just end this game. Like, if my teammates just come, this game is over. Whether or not they do is just completely other thing. I bet you Hat Zed is running around on like three and a half K gold here too. Like, let's look at his base here. Okay, well, at least full Surreal does purchase there. That's kind of crazy stuff. Army's not here yet. We're getting a metric shit ton of pressure here. I was hoping I could bait out some ults there. That's kind of what I was looking for. Well, basically just smurfed on it. We just get to win the game now. These guys really did not want to play optimally and win the game. And this is something that happens a lot. You just need to find the angle to win. There I found the angle to win. I played it a little bit slower, kind of used my teammates as a bit of cannon fodder in a sense. And then, yeah, we managed to get the play. Kill the enemies and GG well played. Guys, if you like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps me out a bunch with the YouTube algorithm. And also any comments and things like that also help a lot. Until next time, folks, take care and good luck in your solo queue games. Oh, actually, if you want to book one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can at my site, coachmiger.com. That's it, guys. Peace.